Okay, picking up the previous screencast um, where we left off, um, just a quick recap. So far, we've created the user table, we've done the user login form, we added the code, and we tested it. So what we need to do next is the macro to close the form. Just a, a quick thought on um, adding the code. Um, I've put the code on Moodle. So if you log into Moodle and go to the Year 12 AICT course, um, it's under user login code down here. Okay, so we've got the user login code as a web page. There it is. And the Word document that I used um, in my previous screencast, you can download that there as well. I'll also put the screencast um, and the code on my blog, www.mrbotfieldict.co.uk. Um, it's not on here yet, but it will be tagged. I'll tag it with um, user login. Okay. Um, so you should be able to find it quite easily. Right then, back to the macros. So if we go back over to the database. Okay, so we'll close these down. We've finished with these for, well, I finished with form login to for a moment. Okay, do I want to save the changes? Yes, I do. Right, we'll put the form switchboard into design view and we're going to record uh, or create a macro, should I say, not record, um, create a macro to close this form down. Now, I've gone and said we're going to record a macro. Um, if you think back, those of you that did uh, GCSE ICT, back to the work you did in year 10, using Microsoft Excel, you recorded a series of clicks or keystrokes and assigned those to a button. So, for example, you could quite easily create um, menus or hyperlinks using buttons in Excel. Um, you can't do that in Access, okay? Um, uh, macros in Excel and so, so on are for recording keystrokes and uh, mouse button clicks. Um, in Access they work quite differently. They work by assigning functions um, to the macro then attaching the macro to a button and I'll show you how it works. So we're going to create a button, we'll use a button button, love the button button. Um, create the button, okay, and we're just again going to click on cancel, okay. Um, in fact no, we can, we can actually assign the macro that way as well so I'll just delete that for a second and I'll do that again so we'll go to the button button create the button okay and we'll go to miscellaneous run macro from miscellaneous click on next and then you'll see a list of the macros that you've created okay there's one I've created mac close macro close click on next um, we'll give it the text run as macro click on next and we'll just call that um, close now and finish. Okay, and it didn't give it a very suitable name, but I'm going to do it again in a second anyway. So if we go back to design view, not to design view, to form view, when I click on run macro, which should be titled close, it should close the switchboard. There we are, brilliant, it worked. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. I'm going to show you now how to create the macro. Now, I'm using um, Access 2010. In school, we've got 2007, so there might be some slight differences in the interface and how this works um, in school on 2007. So just do your best to follow what I'm doing on here, and I can obviously come around and help you um, pick up the differences in, in, in the interface and, and make it work in 2007. So we're going to start by going to Create and Macro. Okay, and in the first drop down, I'm going to choose a function. So I'm looking for close window or close form. Close window, there we are. Right, the object type is going to be a form. The form name is switchboard, so FRM switchboard. Okay, and do I want to make any um, saves? No, I don't, because I won't be working with any data. So I don't want to prompt, I don't want to save, I'll just choose no. Okay, so there's my first macro. So I'm going to save that macro. I'm going to call it um, Mac um, Close and Two. So Mac Close Two. So it was a just a quick recap. It was a form. Okay, uh, form switchboard, and we don't want any save changes. So I'll click on OK to save the changes to the macro, and that's the macro created. So let's very, very quickly open up our switchboard again and we'll put the switchboard into design view. We'll use the button button and I'll create my quit or close button. I'll go to miscellaneous and run macro, choose next. OK, 
okay I'm going to choose Mac close to this time the macro I've just created click on next and like in the previous example I don't want it being called run macro so I'm going to call it close database and I'm going to click on next and we'll call that close database and click on finish so again we'll test it so we'll save and we'll go into form view so when I click on close database yes it closes down that window okay so that's the macro recorded and assigned to the button to close the database so um, in these last two screen grabs on the user login we've created the user table we've created the user login form we've added the code and maybe made some changes to that code we've tested that one two and three here work and we've recorded the macro to close the form and we've tested that as well so having watched these two screen grabs you can now go ahead if you've not done so already and add the user login and the macros to your databases